Hello there guys and welcome to Saturday's live stream here for IFMC here at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, I am JWF1 and we're kicking off today's action for the qualifying session to determine the grid for tomorrow's Spanish Grand Prix. And just to add a little twist to the flavour, it is raining here in Barcelona, a very heavy shower. Could we expect a mixed up grid? We will wait and see. But the first wet weather qualifying session, I believe, of the season, I could be wrong, but it is the first wet weather qualifying session of the season. And, uh, well, we're getting, we're hoping to get underway quite soon. A couple of news flashes that came your way. First of all, four out of 11 teams have made upgrades for this weekend. And on top of that as well, the biggest news story that came during the week was that Martini Motorsport have had their uh, power uh, reverted back to their original settings uh, and their reliability as well. As a result of Crashgate, sorry, not Crashgate, Cashgate, uh, being a factor which um, the Willows Grand Prix and Willows Racing Team boss managed to get themselves involved in. They've now lost all of that power and have been stripped of their results of the first four races for carrying an illegal car. And uh, as a result, they pretty much start from zero as a result. So we've had different winners as a result, four different winners, now that the Martinis have been stripped of victories. And it leaves Fernando Alonso back in the lead of the Drivers' Championship as a result. The main question is, going into this weekend, how slow will the Martinis be now that they've lost that power? Will they be slow? Will they be languishing in the midfield? Will they somehow still be at the top? Who knows? But uh, anyway, it is raining here in Barcelona. And uh, we could expect a mixed up grid, which is probably some of the Martinis will probably be hoping that is the case to uh, really still end up there around about the same places they are in qualifying. But uh, we'll wait and see on that. But I've rambled on for a little bit now, so without further ado, let's get to the 35 minute qualifying session for the Spanish Grand Prix. So, it should come up on your screen. Here we are then in a rainy uh, Barcelona. And we're going to go to the end of the pit lane with Oliver Rowland. So, we will wait and get this session underway. A 35-minute session as per usual. And we wait for the drivers to get themselves. Uh, wait for the first cars to go out onto the track. We're waiting for some pit activity to get us underway. And uh, just waiting for that to commence. And uh, we wait in the pit lane now then. And uh, wait to see some cars go out onto the track. And uh, as you can see, it should be very interesting to see how it will play out with the weather. One of the things as well, uh, the rerun of the press conference from uh, yesterday will be out uh, tonight. I was a little bit busy trying to get it uploaded. and uh, But it should be out uh, today. As the first man out on track to test out these conditions will be Daniel Ricciardo in the GRM. So out on track goes Danny Rick as uh, the spray picks up on his car now. Then as they head up towards the first few corners on track is Max Verstappen as well. And it'd be very interesting to see how much pace they have lost as a result of their, uh, their power being uh, demolished as a result. So uh, that's that really. As Daniel Ricciardo going through turn three now, then on the track as he will now approach turn four in these very tricky conditions. As mentioned, Max Verstappen also out there as well. Also on track, we have Valtteri Bottas in the El Dorado. Uh, he's out on track for uh, El Dorado, as mentioned. Charles Leclerc out on track for Shadow. So out on track he is now. Then Kevin Magnussen also out there as well for Suomi. Uh, also out there is Pascal Verline, Antonio Giovinazzi out on track, as is Oliver Rowland. Uh, Nico Hulkenberg out there for EMR, as is Carlos Sainz Jr. Brendan Hartley, Stoffel Van Dorn, new championship leader Fernando Alonso, and that's that. They are all, uh, I believe that's 13 cars out on track. It doesn't say on everybody's, uh, on those, on the front two's uh, steering wheels there for some reason, but it does say 13 there, and now it's been updated on their steering wheels. I don't know why. It did that, but uh, anyway, Ricardo now then going through the right under, and he'll be the first to uh, to start a lap as I go through these final few corners on the track now. Then up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Daniel Ricardo as he now starts his lap. Down the pit straight he goes to to start his lap as is Max Verstappen. Uh, behind him look at the spray they're picking up as they come down the pit straight now then heading towards turns one two and three on the track i wouldn't be surprised if during the session we could see some aquaplaning uh, going off as a result ricardo now then up towards turn three he will go and uh trying to get the car 
turned in as best as possible as they now head up towards turn number five on the track. Ricardo now then flicking the car in. And uh, out of the corner we go now then heading down towards turn five. And uh, so through the left hander we will go. And uh, obviously Bridgestone have a different uh, sort of design when it comes to their wet tyres. As you can see, a little bit different to what the uh, the, the good years had uh, as well. But uh, a different sort of wet weather tyre uh, Bridgestone have provided. Um, since they're now the sole tyre supplier in IFMC for all three categories. And it'll be very interested to see what everybody else, how everybody feels with these wet uh, tyres. Uh, of course, um, they had a little bit of a run with them in Melbourne, but not too much of a run like in these conditions. I think mainly they were using intermediates uh, in Melbourne as well, so didn't really get that much of a test uh, for them over in the Australian Grand Prix. But anyway, Ricardo now then through the third to last corner. Verstappen also there as well. They're not holding each other up as they come through the final two corners on the track. And let's see what Daniel Ricciardo is able to do as he heads down the pit straight and across the line will come Daniel Ricciardo. What's the time going to be? And it's a 135.612. Verstappen beats him, but only by three tenths of a second that time around. Here comes uh, Valtteri Bottas who crosses the line to the fastest with that time. Here comes Charles Leclerc. He's now going to cross the line to go P1 with that lap. So the clear goes to the top. Here comes Pascal Verline heading through the final corner. Down the pitch tray he will go. And across the line goes Pascal. Let's see what the AMP is capable of. And he goes to fifth with that lap. Antonio Giovinazzi crosses the line to go fastest for the moment. Oliver Rowland now then crossing the line. Let's see what the monster can do. Goes to seventh. Nico Hulkenberg only seventh with that lap there. Then here comes Carlos Sainz Jr. And uh, he now crosses the line and he slots to ninth with that lap. It's P10 for Kevin Magnussen, P7 for Brennan Hartley, P5 for Stoffel Van Dorn. So already a mixture of uh, positions in this session. Fernando Alonso goes to second at the moment. At the moment, I do believe it is Antonio Giovinazzi that's currently fastest in the Bud Light Line Motorsport. Shows how much the weather can throw uh, a string in the works. But we still got... Uh, uh, nine more runners to do laps so far so that could all change and uh, you never know the conditions could change up during this qualifying session but at the moment it is currently Antonio Giovinazzi at the top of the timing sheet in the Bud Light line and see so now heads down the hill towards the left and right hander and uh, whether the uh, conditions have picked up a little bit I don't know but now we approach the uh, the right hander now then and Gio flicking the car in out of the corner using a lot of the curb on the outside there then as he will now approach the uh, the left hander on the track and uh, so through he will go and uh, we'll be seeing Gio return to the pits this lap and uh, in the Bud Light line along with everybody else that's out here uh, as well and uh, Alonso getting caught up in a little bit of traffic at the moment and uh, well uh, it seems that K-Mag also getting stuck behind Stoffel Van Dorn as they now go through the uh, left hander on the track and uh, now Van Dorn will approach the final three corners on the track and uh, he will now head into pit lane so uh, through the last two corners he goes there is now into the pits goes Stoffel Van Dorn and uh, just pulling into his box there then and it looks like it might have picked up a little bit because look at the lap times that these guys are setting uh, it looks like the weather might have picked up a little bit. So for the guys that haven't set the time yet, that's probably bad news for them as far as they're concerned. And uh, who knows really if if uh, they'll be able to get up close to the likes of Giovinazzi and Alonso at this stage. So it um, be very interesting to see as we're in the end of the pit lane with Lewis Hamilton. We wait for some track activity to come out for the second set of cars as we have just over 28 minutes of this qualifying session uh, remaining and uh, as mentioned waiting for some track activity as uh, we have some now in the form of jean Verne. Verne so like with teammate Ricardo it looks like that uh, Verne is going to be the first man to go out onto the track out he goes and the Frenchman also joined by fellow compatriot Romain Grosjean as well as they head in towards the first few corners on the track and uh, so Verne now then will flip the car through the flat out right hander and now uh, Fern approaching turn four on the track and he just gets the car in 
And uh, now out the corner, heading towards turn five on the track. And we will also see Romain Grosjean uh, also out on track as well as Verne. Heads through turn five now then, and they head down the hill towards the uh, the left right chicane and uh, so now going through these next corners on the track as we go up towards the uh, quick right under and now heading down the uh, the back straight towards turns number nine and ten on the track also on track with these guys we have ed jones esteban ocon the former championship leader now nico hulkenberg sergio perez scott dixon sebastian vettel antonio giovanazzi the man that's currently at the top Kimi raikkonen lewis hamilton charles leclerc uh, brennan hartley all expected to go out onto the track as Vern goes through these last few corners on the track and let's see what jev is able to do as he's now starting his first flying lap as his fellow compatriot Roman Grosjean behind him. Whether they'll be able to get up with the guys that have already set times, I don't know. I won't know if the uh, the, the weather has uh, has picked up a little bit, but uh, we will see as we now head up towards the first few corners on the track. Vern, the getting the car tucked in through these corners now, then through turn two, and then around turn three on the track we will go, and uh, so around the corner now, then heading up towards. Uh, turn four on the track and uh, Vern now then flicking the car in and uh, just heading out of that corner and uh, it looks like if he's not careful for Grosjean Grosjean looks like he's going to get held up by his fellow compatriot if he's not careful as they head down through the left hand on the track heading out of the corner and now up towards the downhill section and now through turn six and seven on the track now then as they will now approach turn number eight on the track. And as mentioned, I wouldn't be surprised if Grosjean's getting a tad bit held up by Verne uh, in front of him at this stage. As they now go up towards the left-hander. Grosjean trying to put a pass on his fellow compatriot. He breaks out a little bit later and gets the move done. But already I think his lap has been compromised. Same for Jev as well in the GRM. So that will not be good news for both Bud Light Line Motorsport and Giorgio Motorsport respectively. As they go up towards these final three corners on the track now then. Through the, the right-hander and now up towards the final corner will go Romain Grosjean. Right, the final corner and onto the pit straight. And Grosjean now then crosses the line. Uh, can he do anything? He goes second, so making it a Bud Light Line Motorsport front row at the moment. Vern in P11 with that lap. So Grosjean getting into second. So it seems that the times are not getting affected. It doesn't look like the conditions have heavied up. As now through the final corner goes Ed Jones. Let's see what the Martins Grand Prix driver can do. As he heads down the pit straight and across the line goes Jones. And he goes into 11th. P8 for Esteban Ocon. As Nico Hulkenberg crosses the line to go third fastest for the moment. As Sergio Perez goes into fifth with that lap. Here comes Scott Dixon in the Mars Grand Prix cars. He heads through these final few corners. Then, and let's see what Dixon is able to do now then. As he heads through the final corner. Behind him is Sebastian Vettel. Dixon now then down the pitch straight and across the line goes the Kiwi and he goes to 13 for that lap as Vettel goes fastest so Vettel goes to the top of the timing sheets uh, Giovinazzi unable to beat him there he stays in second P5 for Kimi Raikkonen what can Lewis Hamilton do in the Etia can he dethrone Vettel off the top Hamilton crosses the line and he does so Hamilton goes fastest for the moment beating uh, Vettel off the top still night for Charles Declare as we now look at Brendan Hartley in the Monster Grand Prix cars he goes through the final three corners on the track. And let's see what Brendan Hartley is able to do. As he goes through the final two corners on the track. Up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight will go Brendan Hartley. And let's see what he's capable of. Then down the pit straight and across the line goes Brendan Hartley. And he goes 16 for that lap. So an improvement for him. As uh, we look for if anybody else is on a lap. Ocon putting a pass there on Esteban. Uh, Ocon, sorry, Esteban Ocon, putting a pass on Esteban Ocon. On Ed Jones there, I do apologise. As uh, Nico Hulkenberg now then, just uh, flicking the car through the right under as he's currently languishing in fifth place. Perez in eighth. Anybody else on the lap? It doesn't appear like it. So at the moment, it is currently Hamilton at the top with Vettel second. Uh, Giovinazzi, I believe, it is in third place with Grosjean in fourth. And uh, I think it's Hulkenberg who rounds out the top five. Uh, Alonso down the field at the moment, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's looking to try and improve on his lap and get back on track uh, quite soon. In front of his adoring fans, this is his home Grand Prix and will be his final home Grand Prix as he will be leaving 
IFMC at the end of the season to join the IFMC IndyCar Series. Daniel Ricciardo taking his place uh, for uh, next season. Uh, but also as well, they've also got another guy to cheer for as well in the form of Carlos Sainz Jr. who's making his debut in IFMC. So two Spanish drivers that the fans can cheer for. And uh, they'll be putting um, both sides and Alonso will hope to put on a show for their adoring Spanish fans. As uh, meantime, uh, Daniel Ricciardo in the pits is uh, Brendan Hartley, a good friend of his, I believe, um, from the from the, the Red Bull days, and in fact still are, I would think, uh, is just coming back into the pits for Monster Grand Prix. And the team, of course, from last from last week, got took over by Panasonic Ricciardo Motorsport team boss Daniel Macamo, and. Uh, the team is expected to rebrand next season, but it is unknown what they will be called uh, at this stage. No confirmation yet um, at the moment as uh, Roland will now peel into his box as we have some cars going out on track. Uh, Carlos Sainz Jr., one of the hometown own crowd favourites, is out on track for Shadow um, Mercedes. Currently languishing in 17th place at this stage, looking to try and improve if he can as he just flicks the car through the right hand and out and up towards the uh, hairpin. As uh, now Signs just goes through the left hand and out then. And let's see where Signs will uh, go. Uh, and um, that's that really. And um, so now as we go up towards the uh, the right hand and out then, Signs currently finding himself in. Um, in P17 at the moment and looking to try and improve on that lap if he can. It looks like the conditions are starting to get a little bit lighter down the uh, the back straight there. So we could see some more improvements coming from these drivers as Ollie Rowland is also out on track for Monster Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas also joining as well. So uh, these guys are able to take advantage of the improving conditions. His teammate Sergio Perez is also out there as well. The man currently languishing second in the Drivers' Championship. Roman Grosjean back out onto the track for Bud Light Lime, as is Stoffel Van Dorn in the AMP. Fernando Alonso out on track as well for Etihad. Max Verstappen out there as well, looking to improve upon P11 at the moment, taking advantage of the wet weather conditions at the moment in the Martini. Pascal Verlein out there as well in the AMP. Uh, Daniel Ricciardo, Jean-Eric Verne, Ed Jones uh, and Kimi Raikkonen have all come out onto the track as Sainz has just started the lap now then as he goes through turns two and then around turn three on the track. Uh, could we see a different pole sitter uh, here in Spain with the changeable conditions? We will wait and see now then as we go up towards turn four on the track. Flicking the car in as the spray continues to plummet out the back of the shadow as they will now approach the left hand on the track. And let's see what Sainz is capable of doing on this uh, qualifying lap as they come out of the left-hander. And now up towards the left and right-hander. And now through the corners we will go. And up towards turn eight goes the young Spaniard and the fans cheering him on, hoping for him to put an improvement from 17th at the moment. And uh, now heading down towards uh, the uh, the the back straight now then with him being at shadow mercedes and then being nicknamed the etihad b team could you say that the team could you say that signs maybe could be linked with a possible move to um to etihad in the future who knows but uh leclerc we know is an etihad driver uh, an etihad employee so we know that he should be in an etihad in the future when we will wait and see but now signs then coming around the final corner and onto the pit straight he will go and let's see what he's able to do. Signs now then crosses the line and improves to go up to 12th place with that lap. His P6 for Kimi Raikkonen. As here is Ollie Rowland now then who comes up towards the final two corners on the track. And let's see what Rowland is able to do. And uh, it seems that Monster have made some progress now that Daniel Macamo has taken over the team. Roland now then crosses the line and goes up to 19 for that lap. So the conditions are improving all the time. Here comes Valtteri Bosta Bottas, who's just in the cusp of the top 10 at the moment as he just goes through the final two corners. And let's see what Valtteri is able to do then. Round the final corner and onto the pitch straight goes Valtteri Bottas. And let's see. What Bottas is able to do across the line goes to Finn and goes up to ninth for that lap. Uh, Sergio Perez does not improve, stays in eighth place 
with that lap. And here comes Roman Grosjean. Is this going to be an improvement for him? It is. He goes up to second with that lap. So up to P2. Goes Roman Grosjean. As here comes Stoffel Van Dorn. He goes up to P11 with that lap. Fernando Alonso only up to sixth place with that lap. Max Verstappen, can he improve? He does, but he stays in 12th with that lap. Pascal Verlein crosses the line and he goes up to 13th. Daniel Ricciardo still 16th. jean Eric Verne across the line. He will go up to 19th. He goes as we now look at Ed Jones in the Mars Grand Prix car. Flicking it through the final three corners. And let's see what Jones is able to do now then. Through the second to last corner he will go. As they now go up towards the uh, the final corner. And Ed Jones is going to cross the line. Is this going to be an improvement then from the Emirates driver? Across the line goes Jones. And no, he doesn't. Stays 21st with that lap and signs back in. Here's Kimi Raikkonen, who's currently in 7th place in the Suomi as he heads out of the final corner. And Kimi Raikkonen now then, across the line he will go. Stays in 7th place. No improvement for the Iceman. And at the moment, it is still Lewis Hamilton in the Etihad at the top of the timing sheets at this stage. So, um... That's that at the moment. Uh, his teammate in sixth place at the moment. Clearly struggling in the wet weather conditions uh, at this stage now then. As uh, Raikkonen just goes through turn three now then on the track up towards turn four. We'll go Kimi Raikkonen. And let's see what he is able to do now then. As the spray continues to fall out the back of the car. And now up towards uh, the left-hander will go Kimi. And uh, as mentioned, Kimi will find himself back into the pits uh, quite soon now then and now up towards turn six and seven will go Kimi and uh, so he'll be heading back into the pits as Esteban Ocon in the Martini and uh, going out on track how the how must the drivers feel with the whole situation that's going on around Martini at the moment I wonder if they'll be very frustrated with what's going on and uh, but they have to deal with it I'm afraid and uh, so Ocon out on track looking to take advantage of the wet weather conditions that's all martini can do at this stage take advantage of the wet weather conditions to get them higher up the grid as possible as uh, Ocon now just goes through turn three on the track he'll be joined by Dixon Hamilton Hartley Magnussen Hulkenberg Leclerc Vettel Giovinazzi and uh, a couple of others uh, very very soon as Jones and Raikkonen go back into the pits for uh, Mars and Suomi respectively it's now going up towards the left and there goes um, Esteban Ocon as he just goes down the hill as uh, signs and uh, Dixon as mentioned will be going out on track quite soon as uh, Ocon flicking the car through turn six and seven on the track as he will now go up towards the uh, the right hand now then out the corner using a lot of curb on the outside how many minutes we've we got to go left in this session we have just over 15 minutes left in this qualifying session to determine the grid for tomorrow's Spanish Grand Prix. And we are just over half an hour away from the feature race for IFMT GP2. Whether these uh, these these uh, weather conditions will be there for IFMT GP2. Whether it will clear up dramatically uh, before the GP2 race starts. We will wait and see on that. But uh, Ocon now then going through the second to last corner to start his next flying lap. As he goes through the final corner and onto the pit straight we will go. And uh, Ocon now then across the line. And he now starts his next flying lap. And he'll be hoping that nobody's at the end of the pit lane to uh, to hold him up. Luckily for him there isn't. There's an EMR of Nico Hulkenberg. I believe, it, I believe that is in the background. Has just gone out onto the track. As he now go through the first few corners on the track. Through turn two. And then up towards turn three we will go. And uh, trying to... Uh, to be as slow as possible through towards uh, turn three because it's very easy to aquaplane off into that corner. And through turn four will go Ocon. And uh, as the spray continues to kick up the back of his car now then. Up towards turn five, the long hairpin. Again, very easy to lose the back end through here as it's pretty much uh, dropping off as you, as you can probably tell. Which is very easy even in the drive for the car to, to lose the back end as well. Through towards the left and right, and will go Esteban Ocon, as he will now go up towards the uh, the right hander on the track, as uh, as uh, his teammate has also come out onto the track, and he'll be, be he needs to be careful he doesn't get held up by the guy in front of him there, as Ocon now then just goes through the uh, the left hander, as the spray continues to pick off the back of the car now then up towards the final three corners will go Ocon. And uh, so now 
up towards the final two corners then we'll go Esteban Ocon now then around the second to last corner and up towards the final corner we'll go Esteban Ocon and let's see if he's on an improvement now then Ocon now then heading down the pit straight and across the line goes the Frenchman and he does but he stays in 15th place by a full tenth he improves by uh, as a result here is Sebastian Vettel who's the next nearest guy on a lap currently finding himself in P3 at the moment and uh, he now heads down the hill looking to try and improve if he can trying to challenge full pole position if he can remember Vettel has won here in the past back in season two uh, when uh, they had Ferrari engines of course and Vettel completely dominated that race in Spain uh, two seasons ago and uh, as a result of Martini's uh, results getting stripped, EMR actually won the Bahrain Grand Prix, their first victory since Season 2 as a result, and the first Mercedes-powered victory in IFMC. But um, they now want to try and do that legitimately if they can this weekend here in Spain. And whether they'll be able to challenge for the championship or not after a season being late on their promise, we will wait and see now. Then as Vettel goes through the second to the last corner, up towards the final corner now, then we'll go... Uh, Sebastian and uh, let's see is Vettel on for an improvement down the pit street and across the line goes the German Vettel crosses the line and goes fastest Vettel back to the top of the timing sheet at the present moment Giovinazzi up to second place with that lap so Vettel back to the top Roland up to 18th and not improving for Dixon so conditions looking to improve for several drivers Hartley now then round the final corner and onto the pit straight and let's see what Roland can do. Across the line he will go. And he goes up to 8th with that lap. A brilliant time from Brendan Hartley. Hamilton does not improve. He stays 3rd with that lap. Here comes Charles Leclerc in the shadow. He looks like he's made a mistake somewhere. Because that's way off his personal best. He stays in P11 with that lap. Max Verstappen also way off. Looks like he made a mistake or got held up. Stays 13th with that lap. Hulkenberg doesn't improve. Stays 5th as it's still 22nd. And last for Kevin Magnussen. So he's getting caught out by the tricky conditions. As up to 8th place goes Carlos. Science Jr. with that lap. Here is hometown favourite Fernando Alonso. His team is uh, fellow compatriot. Uh, improved just a little bit earlier on. Is Alonso going to try and get pole position off Sebastian Vettel? The fans hoping he can do as they go around the final corner. Lo Alonso looking for uh, another a second pole in Barcelona. Alonso crosses the line and only goes up to third with that lap. So up to P3 goes Fernando Alonso. And uh, so that's that. So at the moment, uh, is somebody else doing a lap? It doesn't appear like it. At the moment, it is now Sebastian Vettel. At the top of the timing sheets, taking advantage of the wet weather conditions as we have just under 10 and 3 quarter minutes of the session remaining. As we are two minutes away now from the half past one mark uh, here uh, in real time. That's in British summertime where I'm living. It's now up towards turn four. We'll go Fernando Alonso as he'll be heading back into the pits. Uh, this lap, he'll have one more flying lap left to try and see if he can try and get a home uh, town pole position. Here in Barcelona as he now heads out of turn number five and now up towards turn six and seven will go Fernando for looking the car in as he will now approach the right hander before we even came to this weekend of course here at the Spanish Grand Prix there was a little bit of a debate on whether the Grand Prix name will actually be called the Spanish Grand Prix due to the whole issues that were going on in Catalonia last year and uh, although they did declare that uh, the majority voted for independence, it's not recognised by the majority of, uh, of the world as uh, Catalonia. It is still recognised as Spain, so that's why it is still called the Spanish Grand Prix in IFMC. And uh, unless any changes happen, it will still remain as that Grand Prix name for the foreseeable future. As uh, now Fernando Alonso goes back into the pits and uh, preparing himself for a final flying lap. Very soon, out on track now, we have Valtteri Bottas in the, Eti in the El Dorado. He's a former Etihad driver, and he's an Etihad there by mistake. Daniel Ricciardo out there as well, as is Pascal Verlein, Stoffel Van Dorn, Sergio Perez, Scott Dixon, Lewis Hamilton, Ed Jones, Esteban Ocon, jean Eric Verne, Kimi Raikkonen, and Roman Grosjean will be expected to come out as well uh, in the final uh, nine minutes of the session here in Barcelona now, then, as uh, Bottas will now approach the, uh, the left hand of the track as the sparks still continue to come out the back of the cars despite it being wet here in Barcelona as they now as Bottas is now preparing to go up towards the final three corners on the track now then around he will go and now through towards the final two corners then goes Valtteri Bottas up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight 
And it looks like the conditions look to have picked up a little bit, it seems. as uh, It looked like Bottas went a little bit slow for the final corner and then everybody else has taken it. It looks like it started to pick up as current pulses to Sebastian Vettel has come out onto the track. And Bottas, if he's not careful, is going to get held up by that shadow that's just come out of the pits. Not, can't quite tell which shadow that is as Bottas goes to the inside of it. And, uh, in fact, it's a Mars Grand Prix car. I do apologise. Like I said, I think their cars are a little bit similar, it must be said. It, it, it was, uh, I believe that looked like uh, uh, Scott Dixon, I believe it was. No, it was Ed Jones, in fact in the Mars Grand Prix. I mean, if it's Scott Scott Dixon, that would have been not a nice thing for Eldorado, considering Scott Dixon is an Eldorado employee, uh, being loaded out to Mars Grand Prix to race for them this season. As uh, so now Bottas will approach the uh, the left-hander, and uh, looks like his time got compromised anyway by Jones, but uh, will it be compromised a lot more? Has the conditions picked up as a result? And if that is the case, has Vettel... Got himself his first pole position since uh, the French Grand Prix, I believe it was. No, it wasn't. It was the United States Grand Prix of uh, last season, I think. Or was there one a little bit later than that? I think it was one actually a little bit later than that. It was the Belgian Grand Prix, I think it was. Uh, Vettel took his last pole uh, last year, last season. And uh, so now here's Bottas as he just feeds the car through the left-hander now then. As they will now approach the final three corners on the track. And uh, Bottas about to finish his lap then. Let's see if the conditions have heavied up and will that affect lap time now then. Through the second to last corner goes Valtteri Bottas. Up towards the final corner he will go. And let's see around the final corner. And uh, it doesn't look like it's effect. No, it hasn't. It looks like. But uh, it looked like Jones held him up there. And as a result, Bottas does not improve on his penultimate flying lap. Whether we'll get enough time to do a final flying lap, we will wait and see. We now look at Daniel Ricciardo, who appears to be down off his personal best in the second sector. I don't know if that's because of the traffic that's in front of him uh, at this stage. But Ricciardo now then through towards the final two corners. And let's see what Danny Rick is able to do then. Around the final corner and onto the pitch straight goes Daniel Ricciardo. And across the line, he will go. And is this going to be an improvement? It is, but he stays in 17th place. Ocon about to start his next flying lap. Pascal Verlein crosses the line, stays 15th for that lap. Lewis Hamilton prepared to start his next flying lap. It just looks like that the clouds have just covered up a little bit more. It doesn't look like the conditions on the racetrack have uh, have, uh, have deteriorated. As now across the line goes Stoffel van Dorn. Doesn't improve, stays in 13th place as Dixon starts the lap. Here comes Sergio Perez, who just goes around the, uh, the final corner. And across the line will go Checo. And he does not improve. Stays in 10th place for the moment. Eldorado struggling, it seems, in these wet weather conditions. Here comes Kimi Raikkonen and Soemi, who goes around the final corner. Let's see what Kimi is able to do. And Raikkonen crosses the line and goes up to second with that lap. So up to P2 goes Kimi Raikkonen. An improvement there for Kimi. Here is current pole man, Sebastian Vettel. Can he improve on his pole position time now then? As he goes through the final three corners on the track. Remember, Hamilton is out there on track. So Vettel could be threatened by Hamilton. Uh, for pole position at this stage as we've had several changes at the top of the timing sheets due to the wet weather conditions as now Vettel round the final corner is this going to be an improvement then for the German across the line goes Sebastian Vettel and no it's not so it's on a 1 minute 34.256 as we now look at Ed Jones in the Mars Grand Prix car nobody was behind Vettel at that point just somebody just going back into the pits as uh, now Jones going through the final corner and onto the pit straight he will go and Jones Way off. It looks like he must have made a mistake somewhere. Nine seconds off his best time. Stays in 20th position. Here comes Jano at Verne. Danny 20th at this stage. And Verne is now going to cross the line. Let's see what he's capable of. And he improves slightly but stays in 19th place. Uh, Grosjean stays in 6th. No improvement. Here comes Esteban Ocon across the line. He will go. He goes up to 15th. With that lapse and improvement there for the Frenchman. Here comes Lewis Hamilton. Can he try and defend Vettel off the top? And no he can't. He stays 5th. With that lap, surprisingly, the Etihads appear to be struggling in these wet weather conditions. As Dixon now then heads down the pit straight and across the line he will go. And he stays in 20th place with that lap there then. Uh, but it seems that several other teams, we kind of predicted it because of these wet weather conditions. Whether the grid will be mixed up as a result. And so far it has at the moment. Vettel still lying pretty at the top of the time sheets. With Ferrari teammate in real life, Kimi Raikkonen, currently languishing in second place. In this uh, qualifying session, as you just come back into the pits, uh, Vettel's teammate in this series, Nico Hulkenberg, is expected to come back out onto the track. But we've only got just over four minutes of the session remaining. A lot of guys will be hoping to take advantage for a final flying lap. Whether Vettel will have enough time to potentially do a final flying lap to try and improve on that one minute 34.256, we will wait and see as Vettel now goes back into pit lane. Anybody else now out on track? 
And uh, let's have a look. Yes, Kevin Magnussen and Soemi currently languishes in last place at the moment. Clearly struggling in these conditions compared to teammate Kimi Raikkonen, and he seems to be excelling in them up in second place. He is now out on track as uh, Magnussen now then will approach the, uh, the left-hander. Getting the car uh, tucked in there. Heading out the corner using a lot of curb on the, the outside there then. Heading downhill towards turn six and seven. As he gets the car in. Out of the corner. Heading up towards the uh, the right-hander for Kevin Magnussen. As he flicks the car in. As he has just over three minutes of the session remaining. Uh, three minutes to go uh, in this qualifying session to determine the grid for tomorrow's Spanish Grand Prix. 65 laps of action uh, coming your way tomorrow at 3 p.m. BST after the sprint race for GP2 and race 2 of IFMC GP3. And uh, so now Magnussen preparing to start his next flying lap as he just goes out of the third to last corner. Preparing to start his next flying lap. Nico Hulkenberg out there now then for EMR as is Charles Leclerc. Uh, Brendan Hartley out there, as is Antonio Giovinazzi, Oliver Rowland, Pascal Verlein, Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, Fernando Alonso, uh, Carlos Sainz Jr., Valtteri Bottas. Those guys are supposed to come back out onto the track quite soon as uh, Magnussen starts his uh, next flying lap. Uh, probably final flying lap now. Uh, he won't have enough time to complete his actual final flying lap as Magnussen heading down the pit straight now then towards turns 1, 2 and 3 on the track. And uh, I, I don't know if the conditions have uh, worsened up. Uh, because uh, it looked like that uh, Magnussen just tippy-toed around these corners compared to what we've seen previously uh, around here now then. As uh, going out of the corner then will go Kevin Magnussen as he will now approach uh, turns four on the track and uh, just getting the car in there as the spray continues to, to plummet out of the back of the car and uh, Alonso hoping he doesn't get held up by Magnussen uh, on his next flying lap because that will be a disaster if that is the case as Alonso just goes through the left-hander as uh, Alonso looking to put a pass it seems on uh, Kevin Magnussen and uh, Magnussen just appearing to struggle around this track Alonso uh, probably will try and get him onto the back straight because it seems that Alonso seems to have a lot more confidence I don't know if Magnussen is struggling with confidence around here in uh, in Spain but it's clear that it's, it's, it's evident to see from the Dane as uh, Alonso now then gets the move done and uh, Magnussen, well, he's up on his personal time in the second sector by 9,000th of a second. So it doesn't look like the times are dipped, but it seems that Magnussen's confidence in the wet conditions uh, shows that uh, he's just struggling for confidence around here as he now just goes through the uh, the third to last corner now then on the track as we have just under a minute now left in this qualifying session. And look at the time Magnussen has even set so far uh, in this session. He is way off the pace, it seems. He must have made so many mistakes. Magnussen way off the pace as he now heads down the pit straight now then and across the line will go K Mag and he improves but stays in 20 seconds of that lap. Magnussen looking like he's going to be starting in last place. Magnussen struggling for confidence then it appears around here in uh, in Spain and wh whatever that is I don't know but uh, Verline now then crosses the line to start a lap as does Carlos Sainz as does Max Verstappen. As we now look at Nico Hulkenberg, as we have 17 seconds to go in this session now. Then Hulkenberg going around the final corner and onto the pit straight. He will go, and Hulkenberg now then across the line, and he goes up to sixth with that lap on his final flying lap. Four seconds remaining. Van Dorn starts a lap, still 12th for uh, Charles Leclerc, and the checkered flag is out, and that is the end of the session. I think Ricardo just crossed the line to do uh, his next flying lap. I think he just had enough. A time there just across the line as uh, Hartley stays in ninth place. Looks like a good grid position for him at the moment. Here comes Antonio Giovinazzi now then as he heads through the final corner and onto the pit straight. He will go and Giovinazzi now then crosses the line and he stays in third place with that lap there. Then Roland going up towards the, uh, the final corner and let's see what he is able to do now then as uh, Roland crosses the line. And he stays in 18th place. Let's see what Fernando Alonso is able to do down on his final flying lap. He currently languishes in 4th place. Can he try and get pole position in front of his home fans now then? Alonso, round the final corner and across the line. Goes to Spaniard. Is it enough? No, it's not. He stays in 4th place with that lap there then. Here is Valtteri Bottas in the Eldorado now then. As they go up towards the, uh, the final corner. And onto the pit straight. 
uh, we will go. And uh, Bottas now then goes across the line. And he stays in 11th place but improves on his best time. And Verline stays 16th. And it's still 8th for Carlos Sainz Jr. Still 14th for Max Verstappen. As we look at Stoffel Van Dorn then on his final flying lap. And I believe Ricardo will be the last one to cross the line. Here comes Van Dorn now then up towards the, uh, the final corner. And now down the pit straight goes Stoffel Van Dorn. And across the line goes the Belgian. Is this going to be an improvement for him? And it is. And he stays 13th as Ricardo stays in 17th. And there you have it. And that is the end of qualifying. And the streak for Etihad has been broken this season for pole positions. Because Sebastian Vettel has taken pole position for tomorrow's Spanish Grand Prix. He has taken advantage of the wet weather conditions. And, uh, well, Sebastian Vettel on pole position for tomorrow's race. So there you have it then, guys. After all of that, here is the grid for tomorrow's Spanish Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel lines up on pole position with Kimi Raikkonen in second. And Antonio Giovinazzi third with Fernando Alonso fourth. Lewis Hamilton fifth with Nico Hulkenberg sixth. Roman Grosjean seventh. Carlos Sainz Jr. eighth with Brennan Hartley ninth. Sergio Perez in tenth. Valtteri Bottas eleventh. Charles Leclerc twelfth. Stoffel Van Dorn thirteenth. Max Verstappen fourteenth. And if we scroll down the rest of the field, Esteban Ocon in 15th, Pascal Verlein 16th, Daniel Ricciardo 17th, with Oliver Rowland 18th, jean Ver Verne 19th, Scott Dixon 20th, Ed Jones 21st, and for some odd reason, Kevin Magnussen is in 22nd and last. It showed he had no confidence in the car whatsoever, and he's way down the field in 22nd position. I don't think it's anything wrong with his stats, I just think he just struggled in the wet conditions. I will double check it before the race tomorrow though. But anyway guys, that has been the end of the qualifying session for IFMC. I hope you enjoyed it. It has been a fully entertaining day here and a very interesting grid for tomorrow and it's looking to be a very good race here in Catalonia. But there you have it then, guys. That has been it for the qualifying session. But stick around now guys because coming up next is the feature race for IFMC GP2 which sees Felix Rosenquist on pole position ahead of Lando Norris and Pierre Gasly. Whether the wet conditions will remain for that race, we will wait and see. So if you want to go and grab a quick drink, then you can. But until then, I'm in JWF1, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit.